So you decided to go Linux? Yes. So obviously we've known about it for a long time and you've been strongly recommending it like my whole life. And I think because like you would put Linux onto my laptop without my request, I was a bit hesitant to have it. But now like I came to my own conclusion that Windows, especially right now, is it's not it doesn't like care for like the user that it's like they have an agenda they're trying to sell it feels as though that's not private it feels like they're trying to sell something like even with like with the force updates like you have to constantly update the computer and then it lags really badly Anya was saying that when she got the latest windows update yeah it considered yeah it feels like we don't have much control when we have windows and it's been steadily getting worse in that respect that we have less control and we d it doesn't feel like a private computer it feels like we're borrowing a space kind of like yeah it's it's not personal it doesn't feel like even though we paid for it it feels like it's somebody else's so, and when and linux is free and you can customize it and like it was what originally for people made by people for free and it's still like that isn't it for the most part, the most part. so that's why and like i like the, the, i think one thing about linux as well is that there's so many options there's so much choice that it can be a bit overwhelming for me and I guess that's the good thing about like Windows and um, Apple is like it's all set up for you. You don't have to make decisions. But if you make the decision for me, like pick a Linux that I might or Linux layout that I that I want, then yeah, I'll definitely go for Linux. Uh, what what kind of work uh, do you think you will be doing on this? Uh, what kind of work? Um, definitely gaming. Oh, gaming. Definitely. And maybe, depending on the computer, maybe I will do some streaming. Mm. And obviously, like, emails and things like that. So, um, for gaming, I would suggest um, Sparky Linux. Sparky Linux. Game over. And is that the kind of... Install Linux on, on some than uh, on others. Yeah, like, but, can you tell me what? Uh, Probably all, all the computers are easier to... Uh, really? Yeah. That's fine. Like all the computers that are still being sold? Yes. Okay, good. Because I don't intend to spend too much money anyway. But um, like for, for the things I want to do, what kind of computer would you recommend? Mm -hmm. Like how... Mm, I wouldn't mind a computer though. And how many um, gig? How much uh, RAM? Uh, uh, probably and, eight. And also graphics card? Yeah. Eight. I'll, I'll, I was thinking 16. Yeah. Yeah, I was even, thinking 16. Even better. Yeah. I thought if I'm getting... I don't go through computers or laptops quickly, so it's an investment, and I'm probably going to have it for a very long time. And why don't you try to put uh, Linux on the on your existing laptop? I could, but I've dropped it so many times over the past years that you can't. Yeah, some of the pixels are just gone, and I I can try. I'll do the um, USB method that we were just talking about not long ago. You could, you Let's could see. probably you could uh, just connect a monitor this computer and uh, 
and use the, the big uh, screen for for display and uh, ignore the... Oh, the pixels. Yeah, of course. It doesn't bother me too much. So let's try with this one, with your current one. Okay. Okay, thanks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just remember, do you close background apps on your computer when you start it? 